family. Hey, <clears throat> now it is February the 26th. It is Friday and it is almost 12 noon and I came on to do this really, really quick video to talk about a supplement that I really feel is good for your holistic health to get you, you know, get you, get your system working and regulated good. And for some of you girls that still have an, um, a pH imbalance and you don't know why, um, I want to introduce my probiotic. This is the probiotic that I take. It's called True uh, Biotics. It's made by One A Day, and these are the ones that I take. And they're not huge pills. Actually, they're capsules. White, small, no problem. Now, the reason I want to come on here, and I want to talk about that, because, you know, my father passed of colon cancer. Um, sluggish bowels, so excuse me if, if I'm going to talk about some shit that some people can't handle, don't watch the video, okay? This is, I'm talking about some health shit. I'm talking about my health right now. And the reason why I take probiotics and the reason why you should, you know, inquire about it, do some research about it, perhaps you might want to implement it into your day-to-day -day program, you know, on your, you know, supplements or whatever it is that you take. Well, my father passed of colon cancer, and and so, um, you know, I've always had sluggish bowels, and so, you know, I'm one to get colonics and things of that nature to just kind of keep me regulated. And then, um, later on, I began to take probiotics, and girls, listen, fellas too, you guys know that you are actually carrying around like three pounds of waste in your system that sometimes does not get cleansed all the way out. Now, what the probiotic does is when you take these pills, that it what it does is it goes through your intestinal tract, all through your liver, because your liver is your detox. That's that's where you detox everything. So it's going through your liver, your kidneys, your pancreas, and all these different things. And it's just, you know, cleansing and going through the walls of things. And it's just cleansing things up. And it's leaving behind good flora, the good bacteria that you need in your system. Now, who should be taking probiotics? People should be taking probiotics that take a whole lot of, um, if you've been taking antibiotics, if you're taking all kind of different medications and stuff, you know, you want to cleanse that shit out of your system. If you take a lot of pain pills, excuse me, y'all, I'm itching and stuff, excuse me. <laughs> uh, I got, I be, you know, my skin be breaking out. Anyway, but if you're going through depressions, you have a weak immune system, you're on a weight loss program, and you really want to, you know, make things go and keep things fluid and keep things going, I've taken it for that. If you constantly have yeast infections, you don't know why, like, damn, why I keep having yeast infections? Why I'm not balanced? Why am I having some form of vaginal discharge, vaginal odor, and I don't, I have, I got tested for everything, everything's clear, you might just need to take your probiotic. You know, and so a lot, this is a supplement that a lot of people just kind of sleep on. I slept on it too for a long time, and I'm an avid Dr. Oz watcher. I like to watch his 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 show, and he keeps me up on a lot of things that I really should know. Um, I do have a nursing background, so I'm not just feeding you some bullshit, okay? Um, now, um, but I do say that I'm not a doctor. This is something that you might want to discuss with your primary care physician and see if it's something that, you know, can work for you. You know what I'm saying? Some people have had food poisoning this, you know, within the past few months or whatever. Different things that have happened, you know, and you want to cleanse that shit through your body. The only way to cleanse that shit through your digestive tract is to cleanse it out with a good probiotic. Okay, and so and it just works so good, and especially too, it's clearing for your face. Um, you know, you guys know I was having these breakouts and things, but now, you know, for me, you know, being consistent in taking my probiotics because I gotta be honest with you, I am not consistent on taking such things. Sometimes, you know, out of the week, I'll probably take it one week, I'll take it every day, then the next week, I ain't taking it but about two or three days. I'm just being honest with you, but still. I still try to get my probiotic in because it doing is doing so good for my body. You know, my um, my health is great. I'm 44 years old. I have no high blood pressure, no cholesterol issues, no heart disease, no diabetes, no nothing. I just got my reports back from my Pap smear, 
and I have no um, cervical cancer cells, no none of that. My blood work is off the charts. Everything is normal. But for me, I tend to live a 80-20 alkaline lifestyle. I have a sauna here in my home. I sit in there every night, 45 minutes. Um, and so, like my doctor said, whatever you're doing, stick with it. I meditate. I also have two yoni eggs that I rotate. I have a bloodstone. And I also have a mahogany um, oxygen that I use. Um, so, and I'm a real holistic girl. I believe in meditation and prayer. Um, I believe in God. Let's be crystal clear, okay? And through him, I feel as though, you know, all things are possible. And that is, um, that, that is, that's my end of the day is prayer. And, uh, you know, you have to be proactive in your life. You have to tell the doctor what it is that's going on with you because they don't know. And you can't go in there and you can't be lying to them. If you do smoke, you need to tell them. If you drink, you need to tell them. If you got a fucked up ass appetite and lifestyle or whatever, they really need to know because they need to treat your honest symptoms, not things that you've told them because the things that you told them is that's what they're treating. And then you come back and be like, you know what? Oh my God, this is giving me heart palpitations. This is making my, you know, my 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 tongue and shit feel like cotton mouth. This is making me feel this, that, this, this, this. It might be in some things that you didn't tell him, and so he's giving you a dosage that you that's either too high or too low. He could be needing to give you something else other than what he's giving you. So he's treating something that you lied about, you know. So it's always good to have a good repertoire with your physician uh, because and therefore there's nothing that they really won't do for you if they feel as though you need it. You know what I'm saying? Your symptoms are subjective, which means nobody feel them but you, you know? And um, x-rays are giving your muscles, your skeletal, uh, a view of your skeletal. An MRI is giving your soft tissue. So then therefore you going up in there and you telling them this and that and they're just basically going by what you're saying without no... Um, technology of radiology or any of those things, then therefore they're treating whatever you say. But you have to have a, a repertoire with your physician to where you can sit there and talk to them about what it is that you're really feeling. I do understand that a lot of these doctors, they don't have a good bedside manner. They're in there and out of there, they're talking you through, okay, this, 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 and they don't even want to hear what you're saying. But one thing about doctors, they know a bullshit when they, when they come in the door. They know when you're um, um, med-seeking and you just want these pain pills. They can tell by your blood pressure and whether or not you really having some pain today. They can tell by your respirations. They can tell by your pulse if you're going through something right now. So then, therefore, you can lie to them if you want to. Once they do that head-to-toe assessment, oh, well, I want to try you on Motrin 600s before I give you that Oxycontin. You know what I'm saying? They want to give you something else because they're probably sensing that you're med-seeking. So that's one thing that you just want to kind of key in on when you're talking to your doctors. They're not fools. They're not dummies, and they deal with all kinds, okay? But, again, I say to live your best life and be amongst the living be excited about your life. There's so much going on in this world to be excited about and to just be in the house and be depressed and all that kind of stuff about things on some things that you can't change anyway. Why should you? You're taking days and, and years off of your life when you could be living your best. On that note, family, I'm out. I love you guys. I love you guys for watching. You guys have a wonderful, 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 prayed up, productive, prudent day. Love you guys. Love you guys for watching. I'm gone.